Hi, this is Brad Linder with Mobile Computing, and I'm taking a quick look at the Windows Phone 7 Series emulator, uh, which recently uh, has been unlocked. It uh, turned out that when you downloaded the Windows uh, Phone uh, development tools from Microsoft earlier this week, you could sort of pull up a application builder here and use the web browser on the emulator, but that was about it. But uh, last night somebody figured out how to uh, unlock all of the tools, posted the tool online um, to do that, and then retract it, but you can still download it from several mirror sites and, and do other things. Um, Microsoft clearly didn't necessarily want this to be out there to the public, but it is at this point, and so let's take a quick look. Um, so basically you just load up the um, uh, Visual Studio Express, hit the F5 button to pop up the emulator. Once it's up, um, you can do hit start to go to the home screen, you've got your back button, you've got your search button, um, and you can get a larger list. So here we've got the live tiles with calendar, uh, Internet Explorer, messaging, etc., Xbox Live integration. If we go to the second screen, you'll see that there's a number of applications here, and you can scroll through them all. And uh, it's a little jumpy right now, but um, it has this sort of touchscreen like if you drag and let go, it'll continue moving. So the uh, user interface seems pretty simple and um, similar to the to the Zune interface, I would say. Now I'm going to bring up the background just to reduce the glare here. Um, so at the top you see we've got airplane mode, alarms, Bluetooth. Let me show you the calendar real quick. Nice animation as it comes out. Seems to work. Um, not the most impressive application, so let's see what else we've got here. Let's take a quick look at the calendar. We've got day, agenda. That's it for right now. Let's uh, take a look. There's the new appointment window. And a month view. So here we're looking at uh, Internet Explorer, and you can see the on-screen keyboard, which uh, when you're using it in the web browser, you'll get .com, and um, when you're using it in other applications, it'll change a little bit. But let's do uh, even with the mouse, it's kind of difficult to type on an on-screen keyboard. So this is a web browser that's built on um, Windows, uh, uh, Microsoft's Internet Explorer 7 engine. Um, like most mobile web browsers today, it's capable of providing full web views, um, not just mobile versions of web pages. It includes the same sort of scroll features. Um, loads some parts of the page faster than others, as you can see. And we can double tap to zoom. We can create favorites. We can do tabs, create a new window, for example, and so forth. So that's uh, Internet Explorer. Let's take a look at it and see what else we can find. One of the things that's always set uh, Windows Mobile and Windows CE phones apart from the competition is the inclusion of um, a mobile version of Office. So here we have Excel. Um, now there's no copy and paste functionality out of the box, which means that you're going to have an easier time um, reading documents than creating documents, but you can do that. And you can create documents as well, you're just going to have to uh, do it without copy and paste for now. There's the Maps application. looks pretty nice. You can find things. What's this button do? I'm not really sure. We've 
got a satellite view. We can look at traffic and we can zoom out. Looks like there's an office hub here with uh, OneNote. Actually, that's interesting. Over here on the menu, it just says OneNote, and it says Microsoft Office. Clicking on Microsoft Office brings up OneNote, and clicking on OneNote brings up Office Mobile. That's interesting. Now OneNote, it looks like uh, it can synchronize your files and your notes with Windows Live SkyDrive. Um, that's not working right now, but on an actual phone it should work. There's also PowerPoint and Word in terms of Office software. There's the Zoom, uh, which is basically the hub for music, videos, podcasts, radio, um, and so forth. So this looks almost exactly like the um, Zoom software on the Zoom HD media player. Take a look at the settings. We've got about, we've got update your phone, backup, find your phone, speech, date time, regional settings, themes. That's interesting. Are there any additional themes available? Oh, so we can change to the light theme, and we can change the accent color. So instead of seeing blue there, you would see orange, green, red. Oh, and it changes the uh, backgrounds here too, although we've still got a black background. Picture gallery is pretty nice looking. Let's take a look at the People Hub here. So you need to set up an account in order for this to work, but this should provide you the ability to uh, not just create contacts, but have information from those contacts showing up on your live uh, live tiles on the home screen. And this is a first look at the marketplace for downloading applications. I think changing the theme actually made that look kind of funny. See if we can change the theme back real quick. So it doesn't look like we can actually download any applications right now, but you can see what the marketplace looks like and how it's arranged. So there you go. That's the first look at the 
I wanted to say Zune HD, but the Windows Phone 7 series interface uh, using the emulator. And uh, you can find instructions for how to uh, install the emulator and, and try this yourself at my website, mobiputing.com. This is Brad Linder for Mobiputing.